Okay, guys. Also, also, when we're doing this, guys, please, if anything, if you feel anything or you see anything, uh, anything at all, please speak up and tell the group because there's nothing more frustrating than getting to the end of a video and you're thinking it was pants and then somebody will come up to you and say, oh, somebody touched my face or, or I felt something touch my, my back or, or anything at all. I think I thought I seen something. Please tell us when it happens because we won't laugh at you. What we'll do is we'll turn the vigil towards what you think you've seen or felt or or a name, if a name's come into your head, we'll call out and ask for that name. Okay, guys, because tonight is you guys' night, okay? We're here to facilitate you guys and make sure you have the best night and the safest night possible. But to make the night even better for yourself, speak up, just let us know anything that happens. Okay, guys. Okay, can the spirits in this room please come forward towards this group? Please drop on our energy. Touch someone in the group, make a noise in the room or the room beside us. Show yourself to us. Do anything at all just to show us of your presence. We're all here with the greatest of respect. That's my tummy. <laughs> to apologize. There's always one. Yeah, usually me. <laughs> forward towards the group. Show yourself, make a noise, affect someone in the group. Something happened there, guys? I've got an itch here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've had it since I come in. So oh, okay. I, and every few minutes I get like a tickle in my ear. Oh. If that's you that's affect. what's your name, sorry? Leslie. Leslie. If that's you that's affecting Leslie's ear, can you please do it again? Maybe do it to someone else in the group also. Did somebody move their feet there? Could I possibly move them? I feel like I've got warm air on the back of my neck. Inside. Warm air? Yeah. Okay. As if someone's breathing on my neck. Good, good, good. Good for us, good, good for you. It's always me. Okay. I feel like I've got something on my head, like a spider or something. My hair feels like... On your hair? Yeah. Believe it, that's a very, very common phenomenon with spirit. If it, as if somebody's sort of tickling your hair. Yeah. But yeah, that's... I like there's a spider or something on my head. Yeah, it's very, very common. So that's good. We're starting to get a few different kind of experiences going around the circle. Can someone that's that, that's been affected so far, can one of you guys please take an opportunity to just, there's no right way that you can say it or wrong way you can say it, just take an opportunity to, to ask for stuff to happen because it might be that a particular spirit energies finds you interesting, so are attracted to you in some way. So who's brave enough? Anna. Good, well done. Can you just call it, what's your name, sorry? Anna. Anna, just call it Anna. To the spirit that stood behind me is the only way you can make a sign to the rest of the group that you are here with us. Because they'd be very much appreciated. As soon as I stop talking, it's gone. Okay. Okay. My right hand has got very warm. Who's your, who's, yeah. your right. your right arm? My right hand. Right hand? Yeah. Just my right one. Good stuff. What's your name, sorry? Darren. Darren, do you want to take a wee shot? shot up? <coughs> yeah. If uh, anybody's here who's making my right hand go very warm, is there any way of letting everybody know that you're here? Please. Okay, I'll just I'll let you know who I feel here at the moment. I don't like to say it straight away because I don't like to put any suggestion or anything in. Um, there's two 
male energies which I communicate with myself at the moment. One of them is not actually showing me his image. The other one is, and in this sort of area, I was always expect to see arm, um, sort of army, RAF, whatever. I always expect to see that kind of energy. This guy's in the only way I can. It's overalls, old blue overalls. Okay, and the, the the name that he's bringing through to me is Edward. Ed, okay, that's the name that he's bringing through to me. He's about 65, 66 years old. He's he's not negative or anything like that. He's he's very much like um, your old sort of favourite uncle that just constantly takes the the water out of you. And that's what this guy's like. He, as we're talking, the one thing that sort of stands out about him is he, without being too cruel to him, or I don't mean it in a cruel way, but he's got no teeth. Okay, so when he smiles, it's just like this big gummy smile coming back at me. Um, but he's he's a very, very sort of light-hearted gentleman, and he's, on this plane, he would have spent time just trying to make everybody laugh. He's the kind of guy that always would always want to do a trick, always would want to tell a joke, and that, that's the kind of guy that, that he is. The other gentleman that's here is total opposite from this guy, Ed. This, this guy's total opposite. He's, he won't show himself to me. He's not showing me any image. It's, he's not even telling me his, his name properly. The only way I can sort of describe him is, look, somebody's standing watching you. And that, that's the way that this gentleman's making me feel. He's, making, he's telling me enough that he's here, but he's not, he's not what to communicate who he is, why he's here. Yes, mate? I, I just... Just breaking quick, I don't okay. wish to interrupt you. Is that Neil, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Just right. that person that you're connecting with there, the yes. person that doesn't want to make himself known, mm -hmm. um, he's, he's observing us, um, and it, it's if that's what he did back when he was alive, he was more of an observer than... Ah. It, it's if he's... I don't know if it's some kind of science background or something, mm -hmm. but it's like he's observing people yes. and their nature and, and everything yeah. else. But do you not pick up as well, though, Neil? He's... He's not the nicest guy in the world. He's, he's not. He's, he, I don't feel he's. I don't feel he's negative. No, no, but he's. I think. I think he's the kind of guy you wouldn't want to cross. That's the way he sort of makes very, makes very me feel. Yes, yeah. yeah. That's the way he makes me feel. As if he's the kind of person yeah. you just would not want to cross him because he's. He reminds me of someone that's a very nice guy when you're nice to him. Yeah. But if you cross him, he'll, he'll change. But he's. Where I'm feeling right now is in this doorway to my left. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, only, it's like he's leaning against the, do the door, mm -hmm. uh, the door frame, just observing us and not, not wanting to yep. react. Yeah, Sorry, okay. I what? keep getting the name Eric. Eric? I don't know why. Okay, no, no, let's go, go, go with that. <laughs> okay. The thing is, just because he's not told us a name doesn't mean yeah. that he won't try and put the name into your head. So it's. What to do? Try calling out for, for the name Eric. Of course you can. <laughs> if I can make myself look like that, you can. Is keeps tickling my ear? Could you give us a sign to say that you're in the ear? Who's standing? Right. I'm not even going to point because you won't see me. Um, is that Sean that's standing there? Yeah. Right right in front of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Sean, you have got, remember the, the old man that I was talking about at the beginning? Oh, Ed, yeah. the one with the gumsy smile? Yeah. He's right up at your face, not in a nasty way, he's, <laughs> he's right up at your face <laughs> and, and he's basically blowing raspberries in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded wrong. <laughs> you feel alienated now, don't you? <laughs> he seems to be attracted to you, Sean, because he's 
just as the camera was shown on you, shown on, shown on, shown, um, he basically, once the camera sort of went to you there, he basically went on your shoulder like that, wow. saying cheese to the camera. Well, let's take some pictures of you, Sean. A pose. Yeah, <laughs> so is he, so. <laughs> He's a bit here. Uh, remember those gurning competitions? <laughs> he's just put his lip right up to his nose. But it's you, he's, it's almost like he's making fun of you, Sean. Yeah, there's a couple of times I've turned right. I don't know who is there, but that there's definitely someone there, but not communicating yet. I'm just feeling a young boy who's too afraid to come forward. Okay. 